yo guys, the new Chinese New Year event is out in One Punch Man, so uh, I will do a guide on covering everything you need to know uh, about this event. Okay, so first off, let's look at the tickets, the currencies that we have or they are introduced. The first one is Wish Token. For Wish Token, what you can do is come over here, the fortune wishes, and then you can draw for random prizes. So usually for these, they have a pity counter, which is I believe around uh, after you you after you spend around uh, 800 vitality, then you will get the best rewards. Okay, so for the rewards here, tier one, you choose the two best ones that you pick. Uh, of course, the limited voucher and the revision card. The other two are not worth. I remember the other one of the options were was elite ticket. I think three elite elite tickets, but then the other op the last one I can't remember what it was. Okay, so that's the first uh new currency. The other next one is Dragon Dance ticket. So it can be used to sweep the boss. Uh later I'll show you. Then the next one is bonus drop ticket. It gives you uh plus one drop uh, for wish token which is almost insignificant because one one clear which is eight vitality it gives you around also uh, eight wish token so one plus one for wish token isn't really a lot but the other one uh, the wish the the dragon dance coin is slightly more because it's fifty percent that one you can only get one coin but the coin itself is pretty useless uh, because the rewards they can be exchanged for uh, is pathetic. Later I'll show you. Then the last one, which is the important one, is uh, the bonus damage token. So why why damage is important is because there is rank rewards and the rank rewards are very good, very worth. Okay, so this this uh, as you can see looks very similar to the backup stick. So it's exactly the same. It works exactly the same as the backup stick. So if you want to get the Beast King skin uh, from where I am, Singapore, it costs 23 Singapore dollars. So by buying that, it's similar to buying the Shining backup stick. So you unlock the Day of Bonus rewards. Okay, and then how you gain levels is that you complete quests over here. So for daily, daily quests, there are five different daily quests. So completing one of them gives you three lanterns. And one level is 10 lanterns. Works the same way as backup stick. So every day there are, for those who buy the upgraded stick, you have five quests. For those who don't buy the stick, you get, you get four quests. Okay, so for those who buy the stick, you get the Beast King skin immediately. And there are two, two ways to go about it. One is that you just buy it for the skin and then you stop there. So you don't try to get you don't invest in the rewards anymore. The, you don't invest in the, the other things that you can gain from the stick. So you stop there. And the other way is to go all the way. That means level 50, reach level 50. And these may seem like extremes, but then there's no middle because if you go in the middle, you'll be wasting your wasting your progress so what what you have so far so it's either you buy and then stop here or you go all the way so why why you have to go all the way i will explain to you so the it's designed in a way that as you know uh getting the you buy the skin for the photo chest right to get all six pieces or at least three so for this one, it's the cheapest way so far that you can get all six pieces and get the 1% HP boost for your team. So, but they design it in such a way that you have to spend more gems to upgrade the stick. So I'll show you why. For daily quests, this event lasts seven days. And daily quests, there are five, right? So five times three is 15. Uh, plus the farewell quest, which is similar to your weekly quest, meaning that here there are also five quests. Uh, each of them gives you 12 points, 12 lanterns, which is 1.2 levels. So if you add them up, right, you 
add this seven days, you complete all five quests, and then this one you also complete all five quests, you only get 16.5 levels, and there are 50 levels here. So that leaves you with 33.5 levels that you will have to spend gems to unlock. Okay. But that's it, right? It's still cheaper than the alternatives we have so far. Which 60 right? Let's say you let's say you for for whales only for for very for Leviathans la, they they buy this skin, then they want to unlock the buff later on. Then it will cost them and let's say if they are if they are extremely lucky, they get, they will have to buy up to five, which is ten thousand. So they get it from the first uh, ten the first one out of 10 for the last last one so 10,200 10, gems that's still a lot but most people average will spend 11,000 gems to unlock so it's a lot it costs a lot but for this event why it's the most worth one really so far is because you also get the wish tokens by going up to level 50 so uh, I calculated you need uh, by reaching level 50 you will get 2980 wish tokens which is 190 draws over here okay so highly likely you will be able to get the core and then get the limited voucher the these two rewards and then maybe get some stuff from tier 2 also uh, the game doesn't allow us to see what we can choose here but it's core sorry 8 no <laughs> I thought it, I thought it's research core but then yeah, we don't know the rewards, but we can pick from here. Uh, okay, so for the daily quest here, right? One refresh already costs you. Most likely, you'll get some quest that like requires you to. You can see, right? This one, elite ticket recruitment. You have to spend three tickets. Then there are some which require you to spend your your uh, gear tickets which you would down down here which you wouldn't want to do those quests because you want to save for the rate up right every month yeah then there are some others which are also not not worth at all like clear three unnatural disasters for daily quests so you want to refresh those away right but do take note yeah uh, you can see for 0 0.1 for one lantern right 0 0.1 level it costs you 20 gems so if you were to refresh one time, you most likely sometimes you can refresh one, then get a quest that you that's easy to clear. But most times you will refresh uh, two times, which is sixty gems. So I leave it up to you guys if you wanna go by luck or just buy the lantern instead of doing the quest. You know, because for three lanterns, right, which is the equivalent of one daily quest, you are guaranteed to uh, clear the. You are guaranteed to get three lanterns and then. Um, yeah, so not risking because here you might need to refresh three times or for one quest. But so far today, I only had to refresh uh, two times for one of the quests. Yeah, so uh, that's all for I think that's almost everything. Then here I did the calculation also. Oh yeah, so assuming right, we don't count the gems that are spent for refreshing, then we reach 16.5 levels, right? The 33, sorry I can't remember if I mentioned it earlier, but if I did then I'll just say one more time, it will cost 6,700 gems to unlock the rest of the 33.5 levels to get the, all the rewards. Okay, so this one is like meant for whales do that okay now we come over to this part of the event the one that requires you to spend vitality so the rewards are coin one clear would give you one coin okay here you can use your bonus drops to get more rewards but then again okay wish token right one clear would give you independent of how much damage you do would give you it so it doesn't matter how much damage you do you get around eight wish tokens so we go back here yeah one draw is 20 tokens so you would have to clear 
do three runs to get more than 20 but you have some excess lah but let's say average even then we count right three uh three three let's say 22 vitality for one draw is not worth it if you are if you are not let's say if you are free to play right and then you uh you don't buy the the beast king skin and you don't want to get up to tier 50 level 50 then this is very expensive yeah so it's not that's why in my opinion if you're free to play or small spender don't don't touch this part of the event at all spend all your vitality on talents and cc it doesn't matter if the first day you already spend some vi uh, vitality here uh, the rest of the days you just spend it on cc and talent nightmare cc and talent okay then here for bonus damage right why okay just now I, earlier i mentioned that damage is important in this event because of the the rank rewards Okay, so this rank uh, leaderboard follows your your big arena and world boss. So you'll be competing uh, against the same people uh, that you compete in again that you compete against in uh, world boss and big arena. And the rewards for this case, so this uh, ranking is based on the total amount of damage you have done uh, throughout this event, which lasts one week. Okay, and the rank rewards are pretty good. You can see, right, that even top 150, okay, let's say because three servers, right, three, you are comp total of three servers are competing in it. So, 150 divided by three is 50. Top 50 in your, let's say top 50 in your server, rough estimate, right, you get one of these bases. And one of these bases, the game values around 1,000 gems. Okay, the level 2 one of course is worth a bit more but for, for myself right I have Boros keepsake I have Boros and Boros keepsake so I don't really well I won't go for 1 to 5 because you have people who spend all their vitality and maybe they even have excess uh, Saitama intels to convert to vitality and then they'll spend all of it on this event because they want to get top 5. So I don't want to compete with these people. I would maybe just aim for 20 top 50 then get these two bases. So since I have Boros, right, I can do quite a fair bit of damage. Then I can uh, still participate in the event, get the get pretty decent rewards and uh, get out of it with uh, as little resources spent on it as possible. So. I still want to be farming my uh, CC and CC or Night Nightmare CC or Talents. Okay, then for these three bosses, right? First day, right? I don't want to attack it yet because I want to save my attacks for when I have the bonus damage token. So how to get the bonus damage token is you go and do your daily quest, your farewell quest, then you'll get it. Level four, you get one. Then level nine, you get another one. Okay then, out of the three bosses here, right? Okay, each one drops a different coin. They drop the same amount of tickets, the wish to sorry, the wish tokens. And when you fight the boss, you get one coin. Yeah, you can use your reward bonus to get more, uh, more coins, more tickets. But it's plus one. So this dragon album here, right? I don't think that additional rewards that like. That, that aren't shown here so I think the only rewards six you can see right this entire bar at the bottom is divided into six sections so you clear one <laughs> you clear one one hundred okay let's say you don't you don't use the buff uh. okay but even if you use the buffs right let's say maybe 75 okay 70 you just need to do it 75 times uh, <laughs> it's still a lot of vitality wasted one one time right is eight vitality <laughs> yeah so just and then the rewards here you see are just wish tokens no it's really not worth it. but the whole point of this event is to yeah just do as much damage as possible total damage uh so just aim for yeah top <laughs> top even top 150 is still good reward if you don't have to spend as much vitality 
you can and you can still get it. Yeah, then for the sweep, right? Uh, what this does is that it, it is based off your highest damage that you have dealt so far on the boss, then they'll just count it as that. So you only need to fight the boss one time, then get the sweet tokens, and you can uh, do it faster. And it guarantees you that each time you sweep, it will count the damage dealt as the highest damage that you, you've dealt so far. Okay, this is what I use for... Okay, and uh, for, for these three bosses, right, I recommend you fight Tatsu because he, hero unit, right? Garo, and then if you have Garo, 100% follow up. And the bosses do pretty, their damage isn't that high. So you can put CE here. Uh, don't need Zombie Man for, for heal, but I my, I had to manually do the 10 rounds because I still needed to alternate the, the King and Chow Emperor because I use King to heal. And then here you can see, right, 3 Espers, and then I only have one unit that can deal, that can inflict injury. Yeah, but if you are stronger, then you don't need to worry, just use... You can still use CE, then maybe autopilot all the way. Or if you have like, uh... Zombie Man, uh, Beast King, and then Amai. So multiple units that can do injury, then you can just switch the Zombie Man. Uh, Zombie Man, you can use his ult ultimate, so he will heal you your team yeah so first day right save your save your attempts don't don't attempt it save until you have bonus damage token okay guys I think uh, I covered almost everything if not everything for this first part of the event yeah this event seven days only yeah so Decide if you want the Beast King skin, then go all the way. If you want to get the the last photo chest. Okay, uh, that's all guys. I will make a update video again once the second part of the event is released. Okay, thanks for watching. See you guys.